nothing that will affect you for Sunday's game? Uh, I could, no, I could play right now. Yeah. yeah I could. You, you had 23 carries, which is the most this season, and do you feel any differently today yeah. than you have earlier in the year? Um, I feel all right. Um, you know, it just was a physical game. No, they, I don't know what they was doing. Like, they, was, they played the run real good Sunday. You know, but we, we kind of hurt, hurt ourselves too, you know, the penalties. Um, There's something special for you playing uh, the Dolphins, just growing up in Miami and everything like that. It's a football game. I'm happy to play another football game. Um, I wish, you know, if we could have played them down there, it would have been special. Yeah. You know, in front of all my, my fans in Miami. You know, I could have a lot of my families come. You know, last time I didn't play, I didn't get a chance to play. Um, you know, because I saw my Hurricane fans, you know, who probably missed me. <laughs> um, so it would, you know, but you know, I'm happy to play another, be able to play another football game. Were you a fan of the Dolphins growing up? No, nah, I was, I was a Niners fan. How were you? How did, how did you become a Niners fan as a kid? Um, you know, it was winning. It was good. You know, um, they had a good team. Did, did you uh, or do you work out with some of the Dolphins in the offseason? Some of them. Some of them. Who were some of the guys? Um. The D lineman for Penn State. Oh, the first round, the, the first round pick they had a couple years, two, three years. Yeah. Him. Uh, I worked out with the receiver number eighty-two, I think. Hartley. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really talk when I'm working out. You know, <laughs> I, see, I see him there. You know, he's hard, he a hard worker though. He's a hard worker. Yeah. yeah. They, they best receiver, I think. Not. Hartley. Yeah. yeah. Eighty-two, yeah. With a, with a young guy like Michael James, do you do much teaching? Use your veteran status to uh, to show him the way? Yeah, I try. You know, I try. Um, you know, um, in the classroom, I try, and you know, on the field, you know, um, basically, I'm trying to like get myself better. And um, you know, um, like Kendall used to watch me, you know, a lot, you know, and see like. The small things I do, like when I'm running inside and how my patience and this and that. So, um, but you know, um, he come, you know, he come and ask me this and that. Ask me anything, I tell him. So Kendall was more like he would watch you, he would do it by observing. Yeah, watching and you know asking questions. You know, but you know, um, you know, the Mike would do it too. You know, um, you know, he's still learning. You know, I, I see that he get he got better from. You know, from when he first got here to now, you know, I saw a lot. I see a lot of improvement. In what areas? Just, just um, more, more running in small spaces. You know, he got better in sp small spaces. Cause when you watch his film in college, you know, it's a lot of big, like big space. You know, and the NFL is different. So um, he had, you know, early on he had a tough time in, with that. But you know, now from when I first saw him, you know, he got a lot. He got a lot better. He got a lot better at it. Have you talked to him about that? Because you're obviously very good at kind of burrowing into small spaces. Or is that just something maybe he's observing? Um, I haven't I haven't talked to him. But, you know, um, I just tell him, like, you can't, you know, it ain't how fast, how fast you get, you know, how fast you, it's, it's, it's about when you're getting the ball, it ain't how fast you run through a hole. It's like being patient and how fast you can get through it. You know, um, like when he get, used to get the ball, he used to try to just use his speed. Mm -hmm. You know, I told him you gotta let things develop, and you know, and, you know, and be patient. Then when you see it, that's when you be that's when you be fast through the hole. Is blitz pickup? I mean, the hardest thing for a young running back. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's real tough. How long did it take you for until you felt comfortable? Um, I, you know, at Miami, you know, I coach all, you know, running back coach, coach Aldridge. You know, yeah. when we was at Miami, if we couldn't pass protect, we couldn't play. Mm. So um, I kind of, you know, I, I kind of knew it, you know, um, back in college. Yeah. Only thing was with me is, you know, knowing who to block when I first got here. You know, the, the protection scheme. But, you know, once I got that down, I was I was fine. Yeah. A couple more guys. How were the Rams so successful at stopping the run on Sunday? Did they stack the middle and force you to run outside? Or? Uh, they, they played good. They, 
You know, they had eight, nine men in the box. They played good de they played good defense. You know, um, they got a great D line. You know, they linebackers played played good. And, you know, they did a great job. You guys replayed that Colin Kaepernick fifty yard run in the in the meeting room yet where you had that nice block? Um, no we did. We'll see it today. We'll see it today. Yeah. Are you proud of that block? I mean, whatever it takes to we have a successful play in the win, I'm and I'm a part of it. I'm, I'm, I'm with it. Looks like you were running just as fast as Colin. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta watch. I gotta see. <laughs> that boy fast, man. Do you think the offense? Do you think Michael James can give the offense what it might have lost when uh, Kendall mm -hmm. got hurt? You know, I, I think he could help, but you know, it's you know, Kendall a different type of player, man. You know, because they both fast, but Kendall, he more like a he. It's hard to tackle him too, you know. So, um, yeah, but he can't help our team. Kendall's a little stronger right now? Yeah. Okay.